One of Patek Philippe's best known perpetual calendar chronograph watches is the reference 3970 model produced for nearly 20 years from 1986 to 2005. The Patek Philippe 3970 combines two watch complications, the perpetual calendar, which tracks the day, date, month, moon phase, and leap year, with the chronograph complication used for timing racing events with this stopwatch feature. The 3970, an outstanding example of a watch with multiple complications, has an even more complicated companion in the grand complication line of Patek watches. The reference 5004 model, produced from 1996 to 2011. The two watches are near twins in overall appearance, but the 5004 has the additional complication of the split-second chronograph. The split-second chronograph, also known as Doppel chronograph or Rotrapont, also allows the user to time multiple fractions of an event or multiple second competitors stopping and starting independently of one and other through the use of an additional pusher in the crown. A closer look at these examples in our collection will show some of their similarities and differences. Both models throughout their production lifetimes have had some dial variations. In these two examples, it's easy to see the differences in the hour markers and the shape of the hands, but you can see that the layout of the dial and placement of the subdials are identical. The dial displays a continuous subsidiary seconds dial, a 30-minute chronograph register, an indication of the day, date, month, cycle of the leap year, 24-hour AM, PM, and the phases of the moon. Both watches have a 36 millimeter case diameter. The overall shape of the case and lugs are the same. Both watches feature a movement under glass sapphire crystal case back and an additional interchangeable solid case back. The 5004 case is slightly thicker to house the additional mechanical complication of the split second chronograph. One of the most easily recognizable differences between the watches is the crown. In order to operate the split-second chronograph, an additional chronograph button is needed. This button is located in the center of the winding crown in the 5004. Both watches are based on the Lomania 2310 movement, and much of the mechanism is identical in the two watches. When you look closely at the movements of both watches through the sapphire crystal back, you'll see the additional complication of the split-second near the center of the movement on the 5004. The main difference, of course, between the two watches is the functionality of a chronograph watch versus a split-second chronograph watch. A regular chronograph watch works as a stopwatch to time an event. Pushing the top button at 2 o'clock activates the chronograph, and the center second hand begins timing. Pushing the top button again will stop and restart the chronograph. With the chronograph stop, pressing the bottom button will reset the chronograph to zero. The split-second chronograph also works in the same way when timing a single event. It has two second hands that travel around the dial in unison. Pressing the center button in the winding crown will stop the first hand while the second continues around the dial. Pressing the center button will resynchronize the two hands. This type of timing could be useful, for example, if you're timing someone running laps. Around a track, you could time their overall time while also timing an individual lap. The reference 5004 split-second chronograph is the most complicated model in Patek Philippe's line of stopwatches and demonstrates their expertise in the manufacture of highly complicated timepieces.